The singleton design pattern limits the number of instances of a particular object to just one. The single instance is called the singleton. This is useful when exactly one object is needed to, to coordinate actions across the system. You may use a singleton as the source of config settings for a web app or on the client side for, for anything initiated with an API key. Singletons also serve as a shared resource namespace, which isolates implementation code from the global namespace so as to provide a single point of access for functions. Namespacing your code is a primary use of singletons. A well-known use case for this is jQuery. jQuery itself is a singleton. Because singletons involve a global instance, many people don't like them, but it's important to know about them. There are many ways to create a singleton. I'm going to explain one implementation of a singleton that comes from Adi Osmani's book, Learning JavaScript Design Patterns. So we're going to create the singleton here as this function, and we are going to create a, var an instant, a variable called instance that stores a reference to the singleton. Now we are going to create what properties and functions are inside the singleton here. So first we're going to create the private methods and variables. Now this is basically just an example of how it would work, but anything here are going to be the pr private methods and variables. We have the private method, which just does a console.log I am private. Um, var private variable, I am also private. Private random number, with, we just get a random number. So none of these methods and variables can be accessed from the singleton instance. They can only be accessed from within the singleton. So here are the public methods and variables. So public method um, is a function, console.log, the public can see me, and the public property, I am also public. Get random number, function, return private random number. So that's the only way that you can get to the private functions and methods and variables is if one of these public methods and variables references it. So the get random number public method is going to reference the private random number variable and that's how you can get access to it. Down here is where you're going to get the instance of the singleton. So um, all of this, let me go back up for a second, all this code is in this init function. This init function returns all the things that the singleton is going to do. And then down here, um, as part of the singleton, you are going to run the init function to get the instance of the singleton. The only function on the singleton variable up here is get instance. Uh, this is a public fun public method. And this, this function is going to say, if there is no instance, if an instance hasn't been created, then instance equals init, where we're going to run that init function up here, and it's going to give us all this. All this. However, if, a function has, if an instance has already been created, we're just going to return the instance that's been created. So let's go down and show how you would use this. Here's where we're going to create an instance of the singleton. Var single A equals my singleton dot get instance. Var single B equals my singleton dot get instance. Now this get instance is going to give us the same instance as before. The way we're going to demonstrate it is this, this random number, math.random. So each instance should have a completely different random number inside. So um, first I'm going to just show single A dot public method is just a method up here that says the public can see me and then console.log single to a public property it's, it's going to do the I am also public now here's where we're going to see that they're the same instance console.log single a get random number uh, equals 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 single b get random number so different instances should have different random numbers so if they're the same instance this should show is true so I'm going to run that and look the public can see me I am also public and true, they are both the same instance. So we can create as many inst instances as we want, but they're all the exact same instance. Well, thanks for watching. Check the links in the descriptions for more information about singletons. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, use your code for good.